Welcome to the Rat Den. This is Rat Tail Textiles and I'm Larissa. Today we are attempting to crochet the six day star blanket. I am, oh my god, Maisie. Why would you do that? Maisie is my cat. We're gonna be crocheting the six day star blanket. I have never attempted a project this large before and I am super excited about it. So grab a project, come along with me, and let's see if I can do this thing. Let's get into it. Ooh. Ah. Here is the yarn I got. I just got back from Hobby Lobby. I've got a lot, I've got a lot going on here. I've never made a blanket before, so I didn't know how much yarn I needed. It said about 200 yards, and I got a little bit more than that. That's that. Okay, I guess I didn't really explain the vision, so let me do that. We're gonna start with orange in the center, and then it is going to have a red outline. We are going to stripe this purple, this orange, this dark heather color, um, which is not black, um, because I didn't have black, but I liked this color just as much. So it's gonna be these, and I'm so excited. It's a combination of colors that my boyfriend and I picked, so it's gonna be super cute. I would like to interrupt. Here is what I was envisioning the blanket to be. Soak it in. Really take that sucker in. They recommended a size up a needle, so I'm gonna use a size six. She's getting in the way. I already messed up. Oh god, I can't even frog it. Good grief. It started to look like a star, but then it had one extra point, and I said, hmm, it should not be that way. Let's try again. You know, it's really just about that grind set, about staying on that grind, about having two grinds at once. I am at work and crocheting simultaneously and making a video. I am on three different grinds. I feel like I'm crocheting so fast. And yet it's going so slow. It's not laying completely flat. And I don't know if it's too late. I don't know if it's too late. We're back from work. I put on my mesh crochet top, which I definitely could have worn to work today, and I'm kind of disappointed I didn't. I'm pretty happy with it so far, other than the fact that it's a little ruffly. We're gonna keep going. Oh, we've got a lot of work to do still. It is a few hours later, and this is what we have. It's coming along. I've officially used up one skein of yarn. This is the very last bit of it. It's a perfect Maisie sized blanket. Maybe I'll make Maisie a blanket after all this is done. The answer is probably not because this, is, this has been giving me some trouble. I deviated from the pattern somehow and now I just have to stick with it. But it's going okay and it's looking good and the points are getting pointy and I am, oh god, Maisie. All right, I'll be back later with another update. I decided to go to my boyfriend's house. It's like 11.45 p.m. But we are still on that grind. We are still making loops. <laughs> So we are on day two and we are making so much progress. I might be a little ambitious in saying this, but maybe we're gonna get this done before the sixth day. That would be really awesome. I would be so excited if that happened. So let me show you, let me show you the blanket so far. Here is what the bad boy is looking like. There we go. I have started on this brown color. I think the next row I'm gonna do is purple and then I'm gonna do some more brown and then more purple and then eventually the dark gray. And then it's gonna be done. Nice. I'm so excited. We're already done with two of the five colors. Beautiful. Hi, Moby. You wanna say hi? 
Moby, Moby, Moby. We are back at my apartment. It is the beginning of day three as it is 9 p.m. or 9.46. We have started on day three and this is what we've got so far. The stitches are taking progressively longer as I knew they would but it is getting tiring. I still have hopes that I might finish this in before six days, but considering I don't have work tomorrow as I didn't have work today either. So I've been working on it all day and I will continue to work on it all day tomorrow unless my hands decide to kill me. My tension has been getting looser because I've been going slower because my hands are just sore. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> oh my God, sorry. Anyways, it's been an hour and a half since we checked in and I think I've done one or maybe two rows. So things are going pretty slow, I would say. Oh, I decided I needed to stretch my hands. So I'm taking a hand stretching break and I decided to check in. Woo, I feel like a new woman. Back at it. I like can't even pick with my hand because it's so sore. What do you think, Maisie? I'm getting tired. It's 12.45 p.m. a.m. And I'm getting sleepy. Oh, she's pissed. Oh, she's pissed. Oh, she's pissed. Alrighty. We are heading to the coffee shop by my apartment to work on this. Today is a nice day outside, finally. It's been freezing fucking cold for the entire month of January and it's 40 degrees today, so I am living it up. I got an iced coffee because it's the tiniest bit warm outside and it is delicious as always. You see how much yarn I have left and how much I have left to stitch? All right, so we are leaving the coffee shop. I'm walking across the road. One of the baristas at the coffee shop was very excited about my crochet. And she asked if I, she like asked if she could commission a sweater from me. Got my next project, I'm super excited. We're back from the coffee shop. We did not make a lot of progress. I think I did two and a half rows while I was there from 12 to almost four. So not a lot of progress was made. Also the barista contacting or hitting me up for a sweater. That's super awesome. I'm so excited for that. I'm so stoked. That's definitely gonna be one of the next videos, if not the next. So stay tuned for that. It's getting pretty big. I'm pretty hyped about it. I really like the colors that I've been choosing so far and like the placement of them and the rows and everything. I did play yarn chicken with the last of this color and I lost, <gasps> but it covered literally like six sevenths of the row. So I was just like, fuck it. We're just gonna end it and then pick up where we're supposed to on the next color. Personally, I, you can't tell. And the other crazy thing that happened is I saw somebody wearing a hat made out of this yarn. This is a little crochet top I'm making that I haven't finished yet, but I literally saw someone, I recognized the yarn. I was like, oh my God, can you make that hat? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, I, I have that yarn. Okay, I need to sit down now and work on the blanket. I probably won't finish this before six days. I think I spoke too soon. I thought I was making so much progress early on. How many more repeats do we gotta do? There's one, two, and we're on five. So the recommended is seven. I have two and a half more. I will wish it was one and a half, but I think it's two and a half more repeats. So I'm gonna buckle down and get to it. Oh 
my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop that. Good grief. Progress has been made. Not really. But we're still going at it. Here's how it's looking. It's getting pretty big. I think I have at least one more repeat. I kind of want to do two. I just timed myself doing this purple row of double crochets and it took me 53 minutes of constant non-stop work for me to finish that row. So I have at least eight hours left. That is less than two days. Today is the beginning of day four, by the way. We have at least eight hours of work left, if not double. My brain and hands are turning into mush, I tell you. And we find ourselves back at work. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit I wore to the coffee shop yesterday, because no one's going to see me at my job. Who saw me yesterday? God bless. I got Taco Bell. That was the highlight of the day. What's up fam? Welcome back. It's the same video. Today I'm a little sicker, if you can't hear. I went to work today, as I do most days. I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to, which was quite upsetting. I hate having to actually do my job at work. We're gonna get into it. That's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is we're back, we're better than ever, we're sicker than ever, we're procrastinating getting to the blanket because I have so much work left to do. To the blanket. It is officially day five, and I thought I would give you guys a little update. It is getting pretty large. I like working on it because it gets to sit on my lap while I crochet it and I think that's very nice. It's going slow, but it's going. Hopefully I will make a lot of progress tonight and then hopefully tomorrow is not. I don't think, I'm not going to be able to get as much done tomorrow at work either because I have to go to a meeting for like three fucking hours. So I won't get in a, as much done, unfortunately. So we're just gonna do our best tonight and then after work tomorrow, finish this bad boy. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh. So the fire alarm just went off. Interrupted my crocheting to say the least. Not that I was getting very much done. I took a little break. And now I really think I'm ready to buckle down and put in, put in some work. It is 11, 1040. It is 1040. And I'm ready to buckle down and do some work. I love you. She's letting me pet her with my foot. The reason as to why I was not making progress before the fire alarm went off actually is because I realized I lost my game of yarn chicken again for the second time and this time it's not close enough where I can just call it and be fine so I'm gonna have to take this out unfortunately purple is now out and it is the heather gray from here on out I said I was ready to buckle down and do some work yeah I passed out immediately after what's up I just got back from work I got more done at work than I expected to get done especially because I had that three hour meeting but I got more done than I thought so I think we are either only two rows till done or two rows of one repeat which would be eight more rows we will see once I finish these two rows what I'm thinking in the meantime I got shit to do I got shit to do I got a blanket to finish. Bye. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to crochet. I have a blanket, you see. You are in the way. It is finished. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it so much. I love it so much. She looks so good and she's nice and comfy and warm and guess fucking what? I finished this sucker in five days. I finished this thing in five days because it is 8.01, which means it is not yet 9.45, which means it is not yet day six. And this sucker is done. Woo! 
I did not do a second or another repeat after the two rows. I determined I don't think I have enough black yarn for that. But for real, here she is. I'm so happy with it. There are a few things I wish I did differently, like perhaps not make it the red so much, make less red, and have more of the outside colors. But I ran out of both the purple and the orange. Honestly, it worked out pretty fine. Another thing I wish I hadn't done was get derailed from the pattern so early on in the process. That would have been nice if I could have just stuck to it. I'm gonna be honest, she turned out pretty fire. The colors remind me of like magma or like a geode and I really love it. All right, friends, all right, rats. That is today's video. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I had so much fun making this blanket. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm also happy that I have a YouTube video about it now. I think that's pretty cool, documenting the process. TBH, I've never done that before. This is my first video, if you didn't notice. This has just been a very exciting experience all around for me. I wish that I hadn't gotten sick, because I sound terrible right now and feel terrible. You win some, you lose some. All right, rats, join me in the next video where I do something really cool. You are welcome back at the Rat Den anytime. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your haters and your enemies and your bullies and everyone who doesn't like you so they can see that you have cool taste. See you in the next one.